Joey Gallo. That is the word right now on the street. It was a word for me a couple of um a, a week or so ago. Uh, let me throw that on the screen first. Then we'll talk about Big Joey G and the New York Yankees. Here is a tweet, folks, that I put out and I retweeted that tweet today with a little additional confirmation. Um, about what well, July eighth, I put the tweet out that says told Gallo is high on Yankees trade targets right up Cashman's alley. And then today I also retweeted again, Gallo is the target the Yanks want. Will be interesting to see how this deadline pans out, or plays out, I said. So where we are right now for the Yankees is they got basically almost two outfield spots open, right? We know Andujar has a little bit of an injury, should be back. Um, center field is wide open. Gardner's not cutting it. Tim LaCastro is more your fourth outfield guy. Should not be starting on the Yankees. Um, a nice piece to have, undoubtedly, just because of that speed. But the Yankees got center field open. They got left field open. We know they what they need to add to this lineup. A lefty bat makes sense. Gallo may not be the first guy that jumps out for me. You guys have heard me harp on Adam Frazier a lot, who the Yankees are interested in. They've done a lot of work with the Pirates. Remember, too, the Pirates know the Yankee system very, very well. So that could always pan out well if for a trade if something falls off. But I know he's up there on the Yankees list too. But Joey Gallo's the guy that Brian Cashman wants. Per my understanding, um, I believe I believe Joel Sherman also said the Yankees have interest today. He wrote that this morning, I believe, or this afternoon. Um, but Gallo makes sense in the sense of a lefty at Yankee Stadium. You know, one thing that everybody here at NY News has talked about, and even me and Francis, I think, yeah, actually even on the last podcast, anytime you talk about roster construction, you talk about how analytically the right-handed lineup that the Yankees have put out, they thought would really work well. Well, what we've seen is hard-throwing righties eat this lineup alive, and then hard-throwing relief pitchers, which every team has nowadays, those right-handers, really, they struggle against them. And it makes it difficult because it's not a balance. The Yankees can fix that lefty problem really, really quickly. Gallo being one of those guys. So let's take a look um, at some Joey Gallo video here in the powdered blue. Look at this swing. Boom. We know what Joey Gallo could do, right? Everybody knows that Gallo's not some newcomer that we don't know much about. So on the season, Joey Gallo has 24 home runs, 52 RBIs, 53 runs scored. He has walked 72 times, which I believe actually leads the league. He has also struck out 108 times. On base percentage is 402, and his batting average is 239. So if you are a fan of a real analytically sound player, Joey Gallo fits that mold. Doesn't hit for the high average. You know, 239 is actually up there for the Yankees lineup. So it's kind of funny because it's actually a better average than a lot of a lot of what our Yankee players have. And Gallo's a great defender. We know that. He could play center. He could play left field, wherever the Yankees would feel most comfortable with him at. Um, but again, you know what he does, right? He hits for pop, hits for a lot of power. He walks a lot. He strikes out a lot. But... Having him in the middle of the order will break things up. Maybe you bat him in between Judge and Stanton. Maybe that makes the most sense. Maybe you switch him and bat him second, have Judge third. There's a lot of different things you could do with a guy like Gallo and and, and why he would make sense for this club. Um, so realistically looking at it, because I know what fans always want to talk about and always more concerned about as we see Gallo's uh, defense here. Uh, look at this one right here. Lays completely out to make the catch. Just an, a terrific, terrific outfield. So he approves you on both sides of the ball, too. What will it take? It's going to take a lot. You know what I mean? It, it's it's not going to be something where, you know, you go ahead and do your uh, MLB The Show trade, you know, where you trade a Tyler Wade and Albert Abreu for him, and that's the deal. It's not going to be something like that. Um, we all know that it's going to cost something where, uh, the Yankees are going to have to give up something. And remember, Gallo would have the 2022 season as arbitration eligible. So meaning you'll get him for the remainder of this year and you also get him for his age 28 season. And you also have the opportunity to get ahead of a contract extension if that's something that you want to do. So for the Yankees, if you look at what an offer would take, you're definitely looking at somebody in the um, in the top 10 for Yankee prospects, right? I, th I think that only obviously makes makes sense off the bat. So with that being said, you got to know what the Rangers want. The Rangers also just just drafted Jack Leiter, who's not going to be far away from the major leagues. We know that. 
Um, Dominguez wouldn't be a guy. Clark Smith could certainly be a guy. I could see Davey Garcia being somebody. I'm sure Texas would be interested in Volpe and Peraza. I'm sure they'll likely have some interest in Floriella Medina. So those are the names you got to look out for. It's going to be couple, maybe one or two guys from that top 10. But here's the thing to remember. And here's the thing to remember as, my God, that is a bomb right there. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Uh, wow. Uh, that's Joey Gallo, folks. Um, and he's Italian. That always helps. But anyway, <laughs> when it comes to the Yankees, you got to remember, they're not going to be the only team interested in Gallo. This is going to be a hot ticket. We know San Diego has interest. San Diego got a good prospect pool also. The Yankees do too. But I always say, if the Yankees want to win this year and they want to go out there and get somebody that'll help, you can see where Gallo would help. Yes, there is concerns that he's kind of fits in with what everybody else does. But you also got to remember, this is a guy who does take a lot of pitches. The Yankees got to get better with that. They used to be that team. He takes a lot of pitches. He walks a lot. You know, going through him and Judge in an order is... Terrifying. That that's a that's a really nice one two punch. Uh Gallo and Judge, Judge and Gallo, however you do that, that's really nice protection too for one of the other players. And then Stanton behind them potentially, or or Gary or whoever that is. It extends your lineup one. It gives you an outfielder who can play defense no matter where you play him. So all of that makes sense in in where the Yankees are trying to go. Now, the big thing comes down to if Brian Cashman get that type of deal done. If he's willing to. We know one thing about the Yankees, right? They always say, we want this guy, but we have limits. What will that limit be? Right now, I don't know. All I'm telling you guys is what I reported on July 8th. Um, right there with that tweet that Gallo is high on the Yankees list of who they want. That was on July 8th. Confirmed that again today. That Gallo is the guy the Yankees are looking for. Also hear a lot of different names too. Um, one of the names, like I said before, that I heard a lot about is Adam Frazier. So we'll see where that also goes. We know Garrett Cole also gave a little shout out to Frazier coming to New York at the All-Star game. So all that makes sense. But guys, anyway, this has been a report from Pete Simonetti here at NY News. Remember, subscribe, follow, share, like, shop, nyy.news slash shop. Get all your updated Yankees gear from Team NYY News. And guys, remember, tonight we will have another of your favorite alive nights at the round table spoiler alert we may have an absolute full house tonight so be there as we'll talk about everything i talked about in this video and so much more before i leave before i leave you guys let's have gallo take us out on one more big fly here's the pitch Driven in the air to deep right field. It is high. It is far. It is gone. I'm not that slick to have a um, a home run call, a Sterling call there. Sorry. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Gotcha.